Hey guys, what is up? I am the Ghastly Gengar here today to bring you Don Gon Rampa, Trigger Happy Havoc. And just before we start, I want to say thank you to Chunsoft, Spike Chunsoft, for tell tweeting to me actually and what I can and cannot show from the game because there are little uh, like scenes that cannot be shown from just posting YouTube, you know, like copyright infringement. Which, the first cutscene of the game, which is just like a kind of introduction thing, which I couldn't understand, because I believe that's also from the anime, but I was also informed that the fifth execution in this game is copyrighted, so I will, so when the time comes for that, I will upload it, upload a like kind of censored version where that scene is cut out, or maybe try to do one of those weird hacks that people just like told me on Reddit, and... They are, they did tell me that they are trying to sort that problem out, get it so people can post that scene and stuff like that, because apparently it has something to do with the audio. I'll show the tweet on screen, by the way. And, um, yeah, let's get into this. If you know me from my other channel that I uh, recently tried, or I recently started discontinuing, I tried playing this before, and I was an idiot and knew nothing about the copyright rules and stuff with this, so, yeah, um, also I'm not good at voice acting, so... Don't expect me to be the best at trying to get these characters' voices down, but I will try. And if I can't remember the voices, I will improvise, and our main character, I'll just be talking normally like I would. So, enough of that. Let's begin. Hopefully I can skip the introduction to the cutscene, because for some reason, they wanted to play it twice. I will also not lie and say that I have played up to the first execution in the game. Yeah, I have played up to the first execution in the game, um, just to get, to get a feel, so I know who the first person to die is, but I will not spoil that. The Mass High School Towers, all of the other buildings. Is this building an urban area? Oh, I got a click, I forgot. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say is that you come here, you manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sets the cream of the crop to the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes it Hope's Peak, a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the limited, or the ultimate school filled is the ultimate students. Was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopeless average, a hopelessly average high school student. And this brings me to the first problem with the game. Like the game, the game is great from what I've seen, but it has this weird thing where like randomly like voice act a part of the f like like uh, text or whatever and then the rest will just be completely silent so oh sometimes you might hear me trip up over when someone else is talking I'll try to stop not do that average on the outside average on the inside I don't have much going on for me when it comes to grades and special abilities even personality I mean yeah I have hobbies and stuff like I do but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant whatever like, if you ask me what my favorite, uh, my favorite song was or my favorite TV show was, they'd probably just be whatever's most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm a completely average, so I can't even say I'm an everyday hero type. That's who I am. Anyway, I figure it's a good way to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, I have a kind... I, if I have any kind of strong points, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing at the front of the anything but ordinary Hype Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I feel that way. What do you have to, what you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night for today. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. 
It's such a popular topic that only th uh, there are threads online dedicated to talking with the school's attendees. So prepare and look up some of those threads. And all I saw was some talk about the ultimate students, who are way beyond average high schoolers. For example, one uh, incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who is always the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Is also the ultimate baseball star. He was the he was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams have already got their eyes on him. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. I'm sorry about that. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's even every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and there's the mention of the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Fangs, uh, gangs everywhere love this guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I feel like the tame t little house cat to whoever wanted the pride of the lions. But still there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one with any kind of worthless talent. But then, what about the other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be as average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was the kind of encouraging, I mean, I know I didn't have much to uh, in the way of personality. I'm sorry for fucking up these words. I'm trying to do this professionally. <laughs> but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me and see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us as our ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out as plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been fit off just declining their offer. But after hearing this, the graduate was guaranteed for success for you in life, so I couldn't just say no. But then actually staying there in front of the school, I managed to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in a place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter and clutched it in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all the students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but this should probably be. I should probably just head in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do this. I gathered up all my determination, and tried to act like I've done this a million times before, and I looked my first steps to the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It's 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's just still a full 20, uh, 50 minutes left. It makes no sense that it, no it makes it sense that nobody else would be here yet. I'm so wound up. I got here way too early. I know the feeling. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing out and waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that can help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It will help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? But the instant I took the first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, and then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And now, life as I knew it came to an end. At this point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Yo, this game is so good. <laughs> As you can see, this is my uh, save point. Since I finished the first trial, I got to the uh, 
I automatically sent me to this like second one, the second chapter, and this is the save file I made before the first trial. So I'm just going to save over my first file because I'm not playing this on my own time at all. I'm just going straight into this game blind after chapter one. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of my hard wooden desk. My body feels... heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Alright, welcome to Toadspeak Academy. Firstly, we would like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse pad to adjust your aim, or mouse to adjust your aim. If you have an object you can interact with with the left mouse button, and press though, you can investigate that object, WSAD, just to view your viewpoint, or you can press and hold the right mouse button to move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking at your classroom? So, for anyone who doesn't know what Danganronpa is, it is basically kind of like a Phoenix Wright kind of game where we have to investigate pretty much everything and just try our best not to fuck up a trial. But the trials will be explained later on. And so I guess we're just gonna look at the room. What the heck? They're in a normal classroom, that's where the windows should be. But it looks like there's some kind of metal plate that have been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Yep, yeah, definitely metal. Thick too. Very soft. Wait, that's not what the matter here is. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Um, do these say the same thing? Well, those said bang bang. Not the desk I fell asleep on. I can see the line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean it up later. Hey, what's this on the desk? An orientation guide? Um, the next semester is about to start, starting today. This school will be your entire world. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something hard written on it. Oh, uh, I didn't. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is, so, is this some idea of the joke? Alright, so we got the camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. Geez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I got here. Has it really been more than an hour since then? Okay, let's see what have happened. So I got so I got myself wound up and passed out in the main hall and some carried me here? If that's true, that must mean this is the classroom of Hope Side Hope Peaks Academy. Congratulations, Sherlock. <laughs> but... If, then if that's true, this just raises more questions. This is really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be some other students there by now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. Boom, or you can click on the door. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Yes, I know how to move. I know how to run. Yes, I know the tab key brings up the map. Right. I apologize beforehand if the uh, quality of the walking scenes are choppy and weird. Uh, the first time I practiced recording this, which was like, just to make sure I could even record this, it didn't uh, go too well, so I just kind of... Well, actually, no. The first time I tried recording it was fine. It's just every time after that, when I tried recording it yesterday and, like, whatever, it wasn't cooperating. So this should be the main hall. By the time I got back in the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. 
Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Sorry for the chair noises, I'm trying to readjust myself. Standing before me with the ultimate students that have been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who's gathered here, taking their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I feel like a kind of aura coming from each of them. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Negi. Sorry I'm late, but a bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I just fell asleep. Huh? I don't know their voices yet. Whoa, you too? I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Hmm. This just keeps getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. So strange, I declared a bond of shadow and doubt that there's a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you guys talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware of meeting that started at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? What the hell? Now there's no freaking time for introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but there's a good at least time to find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problem here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get the introductions out of the way. Then we can move on and whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's just the best to keep focusing on what you know, on, uh, what we know for now. So I guess this is a good chance to I'm going to get. I already looked at everyone in the hopes we could catch me online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to these five over there. Yeah, aim with the student. Yeah, it's just like investigating stuff. So let's talk to Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs with the cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that's a superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you'd be the ultimate baseball star. Give me a break. What are you expecting? Some kind of shaved head? Shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? It's not even cool. It's so not cool. Seriously, like, I'm mega embarrassed right now. Do you even have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is like part of the national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now, I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know. I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he's still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have to have my own dream for the future. A dream? For the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a big singer. So all you need is a songwriter and someone guitar and we're all set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. <laughs> I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Educational crusade. Sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to get their voices down. I'm far from it, but I, I mean... I, yeah. Ultimate Moral Compass. So that's... Kiyo Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread. He went to a famous private school and wants to top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He was also known for the work he's done with the community's public morals committee. 
They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of the ultimate moral compass. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Mikoto Negi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to give that name losing value, you must devote yourself to every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into, right? Right? This guy's kind of annoying. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. I don't know if I want to go with this nerd voice or, like, the actual voice. That's not mm -hmm. a title I've known as. By the way, how much do you know about the world of Toonie Art? The world of Tootie? <laughs> well, in that world, I'm known as the supreme well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of my fan topics at the school festival, an event passed into legend. Mm -hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course. They'd say I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? It's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Yes, because you are weeb trash. <laughs> I am a soldier serving night and destroy all mindless pre preconceptions of the fan fictions. No. <laughs> I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you'd comprehend its greatest... Greatness immediately. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My work is filled with the deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing your basest urges. It's porn. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Neither do I. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Hi. Oh god, that's bad. Oh god. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> The way she moves is possibly mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. That's kinda creepy. Saika Mizono. When I saw her name in that thread line, I frankly was pretty surprised. She was a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. The ultimate pop sensation, Miley Cyrus. I mean, yes. <laughs> she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, it's not the reason I was surprised to find her she'd been going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. What do you mean that- What?! <laughs> when her eye slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. No, uh, I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding me, I just have a really good intuition. Oh my god. She's a sharp one. I, I really don't like this voice. Hey, um... Um, hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did- Just hold on! Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... So, sorry, I got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bambling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Yo, what a prick. Um... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. I can't talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. Sound like Saika had really something important she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll always not see each other again. She said, like, we could talk later. Last one is. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but. Oh, She's nervous. I'm T -T Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa? Ultimate writing prodigy. So we have a fanfic and a writing prodigy. That's that's gold. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she got to ten and got everyone talking about watching Little Little Career. In two years she released The So Lingers of the Ocean, a love story said to be a masterpiece. The book was such a hit a woman and fisherman quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. That's a very specific group of people. Despite her age, she won countless library prizes and all of her books are in instant bestsellers, which is why she comes to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young, talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with that masterpiece being her romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? It's not like to stare, you know? <laughs> so, what the heck? Stare at me, you like filthy creature! F filthy creature? No, I was just thought. <laughs> you know what you just thought? 
You thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. <gasps> I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me. We know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. But whatever, I really don't care, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about inferiority, uh, the inferiority complex. That was way out of what, what a successful author would be like. Okay, now let's talk to those five other people. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Nice to fucking meet ya. I don't think I remember that. I think I like his, uh, voice. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. You earn respect, even off from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you, too. Yo! Hell yeah. I better be careful around him or else... Uh, what? I mean... Really? I... Yo! Take her easy. I better be careful around him. So, as you kind of guessed, the episodes are going to be going from like half an hour to maybe 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what's going on in the game. And now that I pointed that out, let's move on to Junko... Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Hi. I know a bunch of these voices are gonna sound the same. It's just mostly the, like the pitch in the like um the way I'm saying it. That's pretty much gonna define who is who. Anyone will recognize this one. She is more charm and pre uh, presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Are you talking about my cover pic cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, they so aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days. Photoshop the crap out of the cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you should totally blown away by the certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> to make the eye of junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. <laughs> like the ju uh, Justin Bieber underwear shoot. <laughs> oh. So my dreams are getting crushed today. Um, I'm gonna save you for last. And... Oi. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Aoi but my friends just call me Hina. Hina. Sup? Sup? Oh, you see, she's been breaking the records out. She's been breaking records in every competition she's ever been in, in elementary school. She's even been close to upcoming the Olympic cadets. She's without, the, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability and appearance, um, proportions have been widely discussed online. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Negi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it here. I'll hammer it into my brain right now! Yeah! Makoto Negi. Makoto Negi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm. Like she was writing it or something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on their hand three times. I've never heard anything like that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned today. She's totally easy goes and bursting with energy. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Alright, so she's a student like us. She's pretty tight lips, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I didn't see that there were students like me, others who didn't really have an identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? 
Um, so what are you doing at the school? What? What is what is that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you do have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Your face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, there's no point in asking. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chihiro Fujisaki? Mmm... Sorry, sorry, I get, sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> yeah, I think we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet huh? you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met here for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, good point. Sorry. You, no, you don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You hear Fujisaki, you know it's the ultimate cutting edge program. She's created the ultimate programmer name for herself. She's also got the timid title bunny type thing going in, which has endeared to the Legion of Fans. Um. Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Huh? What are you apologizing um, for? No. Just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, thank God. I was afraid you might not like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why your fans are so into her. As for all the only ones. So, I think after these introductions, I'm going to stop the recording. I am Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Poop ground background. Great. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Today I say something like that out loud as a gag if I turned into a human meatball. But now I remember she contempted a mar she competed in martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over four hundred matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit of more about her. Some call her the ogre. Some even think that she's the closest no girl to the primates. A famed missing link. Any incoming Homespeak Academy who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. What I'm hearing is make good friends with her. Standing in front of her now, I don't think we were exaggerating with her. Hey! You! Huh, huh, yeah? It's not to intention that you're realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extreme ordinary high school student. Hmm. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure if that's such a shame for me. God. Here's Danny Sexbang. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Alright, I completely fucked up his name earlier and I wish to apologize to Spike Chunsoft. <laughs> got Shiro Hagikake. Shiro Hagikake known as a supernova of the Seika community side saying ultimately convoyant words. I can speak English, guys. Honestly, I don't really get the fortune telling stuff, but it's pretty much beyond me. I still can't help but wonder if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw so what? Hmm. A garden angel with a crazy perm chasing after a Bigfoot running off a skyfish in his mouth. And that garden angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into the Lemur and civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. A few times. Yep, I bet that is a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I am Celestia Ludenberg. 
Can somebody go like a Swedish accent? Celestia Wooden. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. That is not. But if you don't mind, I, that is Scottish. Oh god. I would prefer to call me Celeste. Uh, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say anything more about it. This is the rumor you're thrilled right about her. The self entitled the self styled self styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who never lost a bet. Other than her ob obvious love for gothic lo Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament and earned the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking the life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> the smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch out myself around her. Yo, some of these voices are killing my throat. Mostly this person and a, th a little bit this guy, depending on how deep I go with this voice. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami. He's gonna be a total broski. Um, hi, nice to meet you. There's that most half-assed instruction I've ever heard. There's really not really anything I can do about it, even among the ultimate students. There's a, this one is special. Byakuya Togami. He's the parent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already stun uh, started mass managing businesses operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. He's the title of the af uh, ultimate affluent pro- I apologize so much for butchering these words. The ultimate affluent progeny, progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. The everything I learned about him is from the Hope Speak Academy thread online. Come on! What are you doing with introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. I know that's not his tone, but it has to be, man. I don't like him. Zora says, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Uh, something. Hmm. Okay, time we get down to business. There's no time standing around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Yeah, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What's that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened before you... We're just asleep, right? Well, the same happens for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were something in near school. That happened to you, right? But that's weird. That every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly why we're all freaking out. <clears throat> and that's not the only thing you saw here. All the windows in the classes in the hallways were right. But instead of normal glass windows, they're a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff is missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit's completely blocked off with some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But what is anything like this you've got here? What the heck? What the heck? What is it doing here? Aww. Maybe we got caught in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it, like... What? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and had all this all when we were actually at school? Hey, come on! Come on, don't think like that, cheer up! I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'm sure they're gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they want to do something to surprise us? I'm pressing the click button, he's not doing anything. What the um, hell? Huh? Well, if that's all, it's nap time for you me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then... It begins.
sorry. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. School broadcast system. I'm not going to be able to get that. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. No, can I click, please? You, you can hear me. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, what are you taking off just like that? Could it be... Oh yeah, now I get it. The whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd totally be freaked if it was real. You know? Alright, I guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to a nap too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me, I'll go with you. Can I... She's done. <laughs> That's that then, I'll see you all done. Anyway, no, not that anyone cares, but I I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. Oh, no, the auto. The uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. I don't look like I wasn't the only uh, one. Um, Th this doesn't seem right. No, oh, uh, it's my. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, maybe by just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's been going around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing and the only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of not... No, I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said we go to the gym, right? Alright, All right, right here I think is where we're going to end it, guys. Um, it's kind of a cliffhanger, I'm sorry about that, and I um, hope I can cut out those mistakes that happened earlier, but yeah, man, I mean, I'm going to record any more, but if you want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, please leave spoilers out of the comments. I don't want any spoilers whatsoever for this game, period. I just want anyone who also has not experienced this game to just have a fresh feel for it, you know, just without any kind of, like, spoilers or having anything worried about in the comments, you know, just that kind of deal. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be recording the next episode very soon, and usually these episodes should be posted on Saturdays and Sundays, while the Soul Link goes on through Monday through Friday now. So, yeah, man, I hope you enjoy. Again, like, comment, subscribe, do the things, and until next time, bye bye I can get the mouse to work. <laughs>